Hello and welcome to Guy Logic. My name is Temco and today we are taking a look at in case of emergency release Raptor by Arkham Games. So in case of emergency release Raptor is coming to Steam early access on July 8th and we're gonna take a look at its press build about the game. Now the game is a simulator of sorts where you are a Raptor, a Velocior Raptor in the Jurassic Park style so not the actual historical style you are the mini T-Rex so to say and it's about you finding robots and destroying them in a level. Now the game touts that it is going to have a bunch of mobs and it is going to have procedural generation and challenge modes and a whole bunch of other stuff. Yeah it's not in there. There's two levels that were jazzed up as they call it from Unity Store default assets and you run around as a raptor. I yeah well let's go ahead and dive into the options and settings talk a little bit about that and then go and show you the game because i am not impressed so first up is the control section now controls are fully rebindable and there's quite a few controls running from jumping lounging biting kicking screaming and running you also have a deflection slap which somehow lets you deflect laser beams back i'm not sure how they put that one in but then again you are a bloody raptor uh, movement from quite a few directions and there is also the option to go from first person mode into third person mode which doesn't improve the game at all but such is the case other than that you have a bunch of settings now, i do have to say these settings are pretty well done you have resolution options and presets for game quality as well as texture scaling you can set your field of view all the way up to 120 though the game does default to a measly 70 i'm not sure why but such is the situation you can change the contrast and stuff like that now you can also go and do a little bit of more graphics performance in the options menu where you can change depth of field and the cin cinematic temporal anti-aliasing. You can also change a couple other things. And the game also has a couple of sort of extra information bits going from high to med to low as to how much it impacts performance. And then we have feasting in the bottom saying no, better not. And I agree, let's not. You can add blend weight which kind of changes your dinosaur's weight. And these options can be changed on the fly in the game as well, which is a mark for them. Volume is single volume slider and then you have mute on or off. I do really hope they add a couple of more volume sliders because yeah, just one is kind of shitty. There's audio sounds, game sounds, background noise, all the stuff like that. And though they do not need a voice over effects or a cinematic experience of a sound volume with a plethora of options, they do need at least master volume as well as music volume as well as effects volume. That's the basis of it. And lastly, we have a couple of miscellaneous options that go from show FPS to changing your mouse sensitivity and then changing counters and stuff like that, which does help a little bit. You can save that as you like and deem fit. And that is in essence all there is to it. Now the game is coming to early access and we do allow some changes to be made for games coming into early access. But so far performance isn't terrible. The game isn't locked or anything like that. I can play the game at max settings, well over 60 FPS at any given time. So as such, the game isn't too bad. And again, these are Unity bot store assets we're seeing here. So we have no actual idea how the game is going to be in reality so yeah let's just dive into the game and showcase that and you can see for yourself what we are dealing with here and whether or not it is worth your time so loading into the game i'm just gonna mostly let it speak for itself um it's pretty self-evident what the game is and really isn't um i'm mostly gonna want to talk a little bit about what the hell is going on with the developer because arkan games developed at last federation they developed a i war fleet command they developed quite a few very cool and interesting games that did quite well commercially as well as far as I can tell anyway. Um, so I have no idea what the hell they are thinking with this. I mean the idea is interesting. Run around the level and try to optimize your route and kill robots. And you can be a Velociraptor which is pretty cool. And these turrets have very specific angles they can shoot at and you can deflect bullets back at certain mobs and they will run away and you have a dash ability to chase on them but yeah the idea is cool and everything sounds interesting but there really isn't a game here these are store-bought unity assets it's a sort of raptor and you can switch between the first and third person if you want to but that's really it it controls absolute dreadful you can see me dashing around everywhere using this dash ability which is the only real way to capture these small robots and it lets you no control over where you're going I'm bumping into walls left and right the regular movement speed is atrociously slow it doesn't have anything like an active dodge so you can dodge bullets it's either deflect get hit or attack from a different angle and then chase after him with a dash that you know you have no control over which is annoying and frustrating and not fun at all the game is going to tout a fully procedurally generated system with, with a dozen enemy types 
shapes and a bunch of robots and different levels and different art assets and I I I guess but it's not in, so I can't critique that. And as the game is going to be releasing with that not available as best I can tell, now the game you're seeing, the game is going to be released sometime between now and October fully, and it's going to be cost between 5 and $15. With procedural generation, I could see this game being fun for a couple of hours. You can do score attacks and optimize something and stuff like that. But honestly, I'm, I'm really trying my best to see what there is here of a game. And there really isn't a lot. The effects are very bad to speak of. Clearly they did not buy those at the Unity store because the 3D effects that are available are bad. The explosions look terrible and the control you have over your Velociraptor is pretty dreadful. I, I just don't know what to tell you. This isn't near finished. This is an asset flip. And from a developer from the last iteration, a game I enjoyed greatly. I am severely disappointed. The game initially started up with the idea that you are a Velociraptor and you can go into proceed generated levels and you can kill monsters and score attack and do a sort of strategic tactical play through a level. You have to sort of hide, you have to be a little stealthy, you have to lure them into corners, you have to dodge. That's the premises I was basically sold on going by the press release and the information. But what I got was not procedurally generated levels because that part isn't ready yet, not a variety of mob types because those aren't ready yet, not tightly controllable flows raptors. No, I got a vaguely raptor shaped creature thing that controls like a truck and that is a damn shame. Now the game does look pretty nice but I can't give Arkham credit for that because these are store-bought assets. They didn't make them. They just sort of fancied them up they say. I, I guess they did. They added some nice post-processing effects but that's really all they did. But as it is right now this game is not worth your time, money, or really even your, your eyes. It's pretty dreadful. And on top of that, it's buggy, which is even worse as there really isn't much development here at, to speak of. And even that is buggy. So yeah, it controls like crap, isn't procedurally generated and doesn't have any of the features they're touting on their page. Might it get those? Yeah, sure, it might eventually in early access. But as it is commercially releasing right now, that isn't there. As such, I can't recommend it in any shape, way, or form. Now with early access I often say and I will keep saying that that it is how the game is right now and certain critique and certain improvement is expected down the line before commercial release but the base core idea needs to be good. I've said that with Overfall, I have said the same thing with different games when the core game is good, when the core idea is good and it needs fleshing out then an early access title I feel is worth your time and effort. But right now this game isn't anywhere near ready for players to play. This is a demo for an idea they cobbled together and I'm severely disappointed. I came in expecting a cool switch to 3D with a cool strategic game with a quirky little overlay or something. But all I got was crappy YouTube it. So that isn't to say this game can become good during its early access period. Plenty of games have released into early access with a very limited set of features. And if they pull that off, kudos to the developers for doing an amazing job on upgrading and patching a game. I felt needed a ton more work than that. But as it stands right now, asking money for what is currently nothing more than an asset flip is atrociously bad of the developer side. And I cannot condone or recommend such a practice. This is not a viable product for sale. This is a demo, which is cool, but that's all it is. Many games have spent a large amount of time in early access and have developed quite nicely. One of my favorite examples obviously is Prison Architect, that when its first initial alpha release came into early access, it was nothing more than the core systems of building a prison with the core gameplay loop in place and they built on that over a course of over three years. The difference here is that the core idea of being a Velociraptor fighting enemies in procedurally generated worlds isn't there. There's no real enemies, there's two mob types and they all do the same. There is no procedural generation because that isn't finished yet and the raptor controls like crap so that too isn't really there. So overall, my verdict on this title right now is at inception of early access. This is not a game to take any form of look at until at least much further down the line in its early access period or into its commercial release. The problem is here the developer has said the game is going to be released not later than October 2016, which means they have about three to four months to get everything built they want. So yeah, in case of emergency, release Raptor, a maybe in the future procedure you generated, maybe in the future cool mob type, maybe in the future Raptor simulator. Check it out on Steam if you want. So yeah, thank you for watching. If you like this video, press the like button below. 
if you didn't then press the dislike button it's exactly there for that reason and if you want to see more content preferably not like this then i suggest you press the subscribe button down below and we will deliver and until then i wish you a good day and until next time right here on guy logic